I want to show you render blocks. It's my workflow for packing, organizing and rendering assets for game audio. It can be used for other things as well, but it's especially good for games. And this is the example project, so let's see how it works. Let's say we want to export these separately. We have tracks with different colors and we want to treat them as layers. So let's select these and do something like this. And then these degree. And these are going to be whoosh. You can see that render blocks are created, packed and named. So this is everything you need to do to make them ready for export. Now you can make time selection and hit render and they're going to be exported and in the folder we have all the files. After the rendering is complete, you can see that all blocks have become white and that's because white color is indication that these blocks have been exported. So if we want to make a change, let's edit this second layer, you can unpack them, make the edits, lower the volume of these and repack them when ready. After that we just select these, hit render button again and now the files are updated. Maybe you noticed that over here we have a flat track hierarchy and that's the main advantage of using render blocks. It doesn't require from you to create folder hierarchy like this, so it's optional. You are able to create a flat hierarchy and pack layers upon layers. The only disadvantage is that you need to prepare empty tracks, so you cannot do something like this these label items are gonna overlap and that's not something that is desired. So the idea is to prepare empty track above every layer that you want to create. You get this custom naming editor, you can choose indexing options, very simple, test, or we can disable and say test and this is all the same and if you select just one like this, you will not get index. So what are render blocks basically? If you ever use Pro Tools, it's similar to clip groups and render blocks are just groups of items that can be moved in your project, they have a special label item, they can be named and exported. So what we're looking here are two packed and named blocks. They can be also unpacked, so you can run unpacking script and make some edits and then pack them again and they will be readjusted so you can render them like this and it's pretty simple. The other big advantage of render blocks is that you can use them with silence in between so you can create blocks like this. And all of this is supported with flat track hierarchy. So let's say SFX library stuff and let's render them and then all the files will be rendered. One other thing that is possible with render blocks is using nodes. You can input some additional data. So let's say this is like explosion and you can set nodes over here, like used with rocket launcher, something like this. But when you export these, this will not be the part of your naming scheme. What about render settings? In here, you don't have to think about a lot. The only part you should consider is setting your directory where you're going to export your sounds and setting your format. Tail, these settings and file name are going to be handled automatically. You can still have some regular regions over here and render them. We just rendered these two files. But this still doesn't conflict with render blocks, so you can export them again if you want. And if you open your render window, you will still have these settings that will allow you to render regions again, or anything else that you have in your project. Render blocks also supports reopen. If you don't know what reopen is, you can check out my other video, the link will be in the description. Basically reopen is a free tool which allows you to load your original projects from WISE. So let's reopen this in Reaper and it will open the project and focus on that sound. This also works from FMOD, so like from here. And it also works even if Reaper is not opened. Let's pick explosion number four, open in external sample editor. Reaper will load, the project will open and the sound will be focused. 
So if you're working in game audio, this is also very useful and it allows you to iterate quickly. If you're using free version, you will be able to pack them and to name them, but you will not be able to render more than 10 blocks at once. So if you're rendering 10 of them, it's okay. But if you try to render more than 10 at once, it will require license key. So if your job requires frequent rendering of large number of files, render blocks might be the perfect solution for you. And I warmly recommend trying out the free version so you can see for yourself if it's the right tool for you. This was just an introduction to render blocks, so stay tuned for more detailed and advanced tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you soon.